Hey guys, it's Hobbit Queen here, bringing you a speed build video, which as you can see, I sped up quite a bit. Before we get into it, I want to comment on the windows that you see happening right here. This is actually uh, two window types, and if you look closely, you can see that all I'm doing is um, the ones with the triangle edge, I'm turning them to make it look like it's actually a big window. I don't know why, but I love the way that looks. Placement may seem a little off, but um, out of all the windows that came with Realm of Magic, I was really liking that one. And this as well. I really like that uh, fireplace that also came in Realm of Magic. Um, Anyways, this is a speed build which is sped up, so I'm just trying to talk about things as quick as possible. So this house that we're working on right here, this is actually in uh, Glimmer Brook. That's the uh, little town area that came um, with Realm of Magic. It's the town that has the portal to get to the Magic Realm, I believe. Um, so what I've done here is I've decided to make some more people from the Burgum family tree. Um, we have our sisters Contessa and Louisa, who live in the city. Uh, this is their grandfather's house that I'm working on, who is 70 years old. His name is Stuart Burgum, and he's married to a woman much younger than him, and they have a teenage son. That's right, he's 70 with a teenage son. Um, why I decided to add that detail, I'm not really sure. I just felt like it'd be an interesting part to my little... A story biography I'm working on and because of his age I'm actually thinking of um, making this be his third or fourth marriage I haven't fully decided yet and I haven't decided if grandfather wise if his uh, if his child will be uh, Contessa's and Louise's father or mother still things I'm working out in my head but anyways this house that I, that I built um, it was quite a challenge like up top here where you see the uh, what would I call those the it looks like a stop sign one two three four five or whatever it is that has a little crowning thing like a tower originally these were on the ground up about two stories and i had so much trouble with placing a wall and things i really wanted that i just gave up and put them up on a higher level of the floor now this house is um four floors and the very top is an observatory tower i don't really know why i decided to put that i just really liked how that looked and i wanted them to have a big house um because again this is their grandfather and he's going to be wealthy a wealthy spellcaster. Um, inside was pretty basic. I just mostly did wood floor throughout tile and places and you'll see I added staircases but the last two floors I added the ladders to give it slightly more room and we added two decks as well. The first deck is for the parents bedroom. The top is just a random sitting deck and then of course the observatory tower. Now, I don't think it's going to show this in the video, but up where the observatory tower is, that's where the last ladder is. There's no latch door. Um, I'm surprised the Sims don't have that yet. So, the top of their house literally has a hole in it, might as well say, for that ladder. Um, but we'll just ignore that fact and pretend there's a door. Um, so you can see right here I'm putting a pole in, which I kind of struggled with for a minute, but then got it figured out. Um, the pool was random, I wasn't going to add a pool, but then I thought, you know, this is a um, wealthy spellcasting family, they should have a pool. As well, um, when I'm doing the narration for this, it looks like there's lag for me, so I'm trying my best to keep up with talking about stuff I see. Um, you will also see now the fence that I'm was placing and then I stopped placing that fence is here in the front of the house. This was a fence that came with Roma Magic along with the little gate door. I really, really like that uh, style of um, gate and door so I thought it looked really nice with the house and it worked well up top to the, be the uh, balcony um, gate close off, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the windows throughout the house are all the same and the doors for the bedrooms and to the balcony are all the same. Um, and then of course the top 
to facing windows out here are a little bit different. They are also from Realm of Magic, and those doors are from uh, Realm of Magic. The wood floor that we're looking at right here is also from Realm of Magic. Um, I don't think it showed this in the video, but there's a fireplace literally on every floor. Um, the living room has a fireplace. Each bedroom has a fireplace. There's only two bedrooms, their room, and then their son's room. Um, the room with the grand piano has a fireplace, and then the last room here also has a fireplace. Why I added so many, I don't know. I just, I liked how they look and wanted them throughout the house. And the archways, I think, were already in game. I don't think they were had any real special appeal. You'll see, I think I just cheated in money there because I started running out of money, which I don't mind cheating money in for this particular family where the um, grandfather is supposed to be wealthy. Oh yes, this is the part where I was trying to figure out the uh, house and then I went with uh, that which I think is um, supposed to be brick, I believe. I just, I liked how that looked and I thought to myself, you know, this is a older small casting wizard's house. Uh, it gives it that castle look and it kind of almost looks like a castle actually. Um, in a way, to me, looking at it, like, it, it kind of looks a little bit weird, but at the same time, I, I really like the way this turned out for the outside. Like, it's unique in its own way. Um, and thinking of it now, those little four corner things there, I probably could have added maybe doors to those to make them, like, actual tower rooms, but I didn't think of that. They're more there as kind of decoration for something random attached to the house. I tried to line up windows as well, um, you can probably see where I did that, but the um, top two floors, I can't remember if I did windows right there or not. Some sirens just went by, I don't know if that came in the video or not. Um, for the bottom floor I was trying to find wallpaper that um, was going to match that little room right there that we're looking at that's going to be a closet um, that's something I never think to do in the sims and I've seen so many houses that have a bedroom and have a random closet I'm just literally waiting for this to change and it hasn't yet um, there's the sirens really close <laughs> Okay, are they gone? They're gone. Yes, did, did I mention to people? I'm in Canada, I live in New Brunswick, and I live in a very sketchy part of the city. Sirens are my life. I hear them every day, uh, definitely two times a day or more, sometimes five times a day. It can be a little a little sketch, but I haven't heard sirens in quite a while, um, so I'm a little surprised by that. So a lot of this video where I, I sped it up too fast, um, so we missed a lot of the stuff that I did, but I'm thinking of doing a tour video as well. Oh, as well, do you see the funky looking ceiling thing that I have right there in the room by the mailbox? That was so big that I actually had to get rid of it because the dining room and anything else I wanted in that room wouldn't sit properly. So I was really discouraged by that. Had the dining room been much, much larger, it probably would have been fine. But even the light looks weird, like it's touching the floor almost. Um, up here, I just was adding lights as all that was. And outside lights, just because I like lights. I like having them on the outside and whatnot. We made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching my first speed, uh, speed build video. I get very confused trying to say that goodness. Um, I hope to do some more. I, I think I'm a little maybe shy about showing what I build because I'm not very confident in it and I don't know how to use certain tools, but it's definitely cool to work on. Um, if you like, please feel free to follow, like, comment. Um, I will follow back. And if you want to check out my other uh, social media profiles, feel free. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hobbit Queen one and Instagram at uh, Hobbit Queen. I am definitely more active on Twitter, but I do occasionally post to Instagram. So if you want to follow both, that's cool. Or just 
Twitter, that's cool as well. Like I said, I try to follow everybody back. But um, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.